Hi guys, this is Duncan from DigitalDojos.com. I'm going to use this video to answer a common question that I know a lot of people will ask me, which is what is my theme and how did I get it? This is a screenshot of my desktop currently. As you can see, I'm using a black theme. Now, this is actually running Windows uh, 7 Basic because I've not wanted to use Aero for the fact that it decreases performance, especially when doing screencasts and things like that. And as you can see from uh, the virtual machine here, the blue is actually really nasty. I'd rather have it black. So I'm actually using something called Aero Borders. I'll provide the download link to this in the description. And I'm going to set this up in the virtual machine. I'm, it's running the Windows 7 32-bit edition. So go ahead and get the uh, Aero Borders. And once it's extracted, you'll find these. Firstly, you're going to need to use the Take Ownership Registry Tweak. I recommend using this anyway because you may need it for any future tweaks. So go ahead and double click and install that. The next, you'll need your UX Theme Patcher. So this is the x86 version. You can get an x64 version. Uh, I'll provide the link to that in the description also. So press yes. This will basically allow you to have custom themes. So just patch all these three. Easy as that. It will ask you to restart, but press no for the time being because you want to set up this theme. Go back to the Aero Borders part and simply copy these two files and then you want to look for the same area that you used to do Windows XP themes. So that's C, Windows and then Resources and then Themes. Now what I'm actually going to do is paste them here for the second with the Administrator of Access and you're going to need to go into this Aero folder. What I'm actually going to do is take ownership of this with the registry tweak we had so that's just going to allow me to delete or rename it. And what I'm actually going to do is press F2 and rename it to Aero 2. This is what I normally do when I've set up Windows 7. Go back to the themes and then drag this Aero inside. So you should now have that as Aero. Simply double click the Aero Borders beta. You'll probably get like a custom wallpaper, as you can see here. But that is all set up now, really. And all you need to do now is reboot your system. So hopefully you've got it patched. Reboot the system, and this will obviously take a while as it's running in a virtual machine. It's running on Oracle VirtualBox, it's not Sun VirtualBox anymore, they changed their name a while ago. It seems to change hands quite a lot. Okay, so the virtual machine took a while to start up, but here we go. This is the Aero Borders. You can see we have the start menu. And it looks quite nice, I think it looks very nice considering it's using the Aero Basics, so you're getting the speed improvements over having Aero on your system if you have a slower system, and you can still enjoy having a black taskbar. I really don't know why it was blue um, in the first place, but to me, this looks a lot nicer. If I show you the computer here, you can see we just have these up here. They're not transparent, obviously, because you won't be having the Aero, and you'll notice also if you have multiple things open, so if I run documents as well, you'll find that you just get a list here. You don't get the Aero peak. But this is a nice thing to do if you want to have speed improvements. Obviously, you can go into the visual style settings, which I'll explain before on one of my channels. But um, if you want to see that in the future, then just say. And that's about it. Really, thank you for watching this video for Digital Dojos. Uh, subscribe if you like these videos. And again, thanks for watching.